Welcome to the Vibe Living Podcast, a podcast that talks about topics for women over 40. You know, that time of your life that many call midlife. That time of life when you can really vibe, be vibrant, intuitive, beautiful, and emerge. Join me, Linus Woods Mullins, certified holistic living and wellness expert for women over 40, as I talk about a variety of topics that address the wellness of the mind, body, and spirit for women over 40. Remember, midlife doesn't mean no life. Midlife is an opportunity to increase your self-love, your self-care, and your self-worth. It's your time to be vibrant, intuitive, beautiful, and emerged. It's your time to vibe. So come on, let's vibe. Welcome to Vibe Living. I'm so happy you decided to drop by to talk about how we can continue to vibe and live a fabulous life as we age. On this podcast, I really want to dig a bit and talk about how we can make a difference in our immune systems. These days, in the COVID-19 way of life, it is an important topic. What is the best way to keep our immune system strong? And at the midlife stage, are there some methods we should pay special attention to? We have a wonderful guest who will be talking about that and shedding some light on how we can take a holistic approach to having a strong immune system, especially during these COVID-19 times. But first, let's talk. Hi. Let's talk about a simple way we can refresh our minds and also help keep our immune systems healthy. Since we were babies, our parents would always insist that we calm down in the middle of our day and take a nap. Most of us, and that is including me, would hate to stop what we were doing, always afraid we were going to miss something, I guess. We didn't want to stop what we were doing and take a nap. And as we grew older, taking a nap became less of a requirement, and most of us just stopped taking them. We live such fast-paced lives, high-stress lives, that we began to think that we had no time for naps. Plus, we didn't want to appear lazy. But studies are showing that taking a nap is still a necessity even after childhood. Sleep experts have found that daytime naps can improve many things. Alertness, and it can increase your creativity, reduce stress, improve perception, stamina, motor skills, and accuracy. Aid in weight loss, reduce the risk of heart attack, brighten your mood, and boost your memory. And just taking a 15 minute or more nap can go a long way to helping boost your immune system. Some of us might need to take a nap occasionally and others maybe once a week. It all depends on individual needs, but one thing is for sure, you should not feel guilty about taking a nap. You may be familiar with that feeling of overwhelming sleepiness during the mid-afternoon. I felt like just today. <laughs> it's common. It occurs whether you've eaten lunch or not and is caused by a natural dip in alertness from about 1 p.m. to 2 or 3 p.m. So if you find yourself fighting off sleep in the middle of the day and you're somewhere where you can have a nap, then do it. Taking the time for a brief nap will relieve the sleepiness almost immediately and improve alertness for several hours after waking, plus all the other benefits I just mentioned. Which brings me to the other topic that may or may not work for you, affirmations. Some have said that affirmations can help you emotionally and even spiritually, but can they help your immune system? Time for our spiritualist segment. First, what are affirmations? Affirmations are simple short sentences aimed to affect the consciousness and the subconscious minds so that in turn, they affect our behavior, thinking patterns, habits, and environment. Studies have shown that positive thoughts such as affirmations, raise the immune system's white blood cell count, giving a healthy boost to our immunity. Positive affirmations help us become optimists. Maintaining a positive attitude with the help of affirmations is one way, 
and there are many, to help our overall health. Affirmations can help to reduce stress, which is a big immune system killer. By focusing our minds on something positive rather than things that are stressful, we are helping our bodies to have a stronger immune system. Here are some affirmations I use to boost my immune system. Okay, I'm gonna say each one of these and you may wanna get a pen and a piece of paper and write this down where you can see it every day. I mention these affirmations at least three times a day, different parts during the day. Okay, here comes the first one. I have a naturally strong and powerful immune system. I have a naturally strong and powerful immune system. Here's the next one. I am glowing with health, happiness, and vitality. I am glowing with health, happiness, and vitality. And this one is my favorite. God's healing energy is flowing through me and my family 24 seven. These are powerful affirmations. Make a note of these and give it a try. Affirmations, taking naps, are just two holistic tips that can improve our wellness. When we take a holistic approach, meaning when we address the needs of the mind, body, and spirit as a continual process in order to experience overall wellness, not only do we feel better, but we are living a vibe life. That is why I'm so excited about our next segment, Body Bella. Our guest is all about taking a holistic approach to wellness. Given the current crisis going on with COVID, many people have been asking, what can I be doing proactively to fortify my immune system? What can I be doing if I had the virus and now I'm trying to get stronger and have an even better immune system? Well, I have a guest with me today that I think can answer a lot of those questions. Her name is Linda Brown, and she has over 40 years of experience in the field of fitness, nutrition, and wellness. She's a nutritionist, an author, a speaker, an inner healing certified, and a holistic mind, nutrition, and body health coach, and also the divine health director with Agape Freedom Fighters Ministry. Linda is also a certified raindrop therapist. We'll have to ask her about that. And a method that's used to increase healing frequency in the body. Her goal and hope for each client she works with is abundant health. Her background and education allows for her to teach a completely fit program, which addresses mindset, physical, and emotional health and alignment with God. Her specialty is working with women, and we have so much in common, Linda, when it comes to all that, and welcome. So tell me, Linda, how did you become so passionate about nutrition and uh, doing what it is you do now? Well, first of all, Lennis, thank you so much for having me on. This is such a great thing that you're doing, and I love the name. I love Vibe. My passion really started to boost with regard to nutrition and health because I myself went through a lot of illnesses. Then as I got older, I was very attracted to health and nutrition and working out and exercise. And then that led me right into healthy nutrition. What, what does that look like? I just thought, you know, you're in your 20s and 30s and you think you can eat anything you want. And I practically did, but I noticed my energy levels weren't the same. And um, so I was a single mom with three kids. And so I had to be on my game. What I found out, I will have to say with all of the, the things that I went through as a child, what I learned that was so fascinating to me was that my health issues, the flames of those illnesses were actually fed by emotions. Mm. And there was a emotional disconnect the way I emotionally responded to things because of a lot of the things that I went through. So I became super excited to realize that the body is amazing. It's not just about working out, you know, and eating pure, but wow, we are a, a complicated being. And when you're working with your clients, what do you tell them in terms of how that all works together when it comes to boosting their immune system? Every body is different. Every personality, every 
person, every background is so different. So I actually start off with talking with them. I want to hear their background. I want to hear their story. I want to hear their why. I want to hear about their hope. I want to hear about what feeds them, not just nutritionally, but how they operate and what do they think is their greatest roadblock. So when I work with a client, I really want to know their side of their story. And then as I'm listening, I began to hear patterns uh, within what they're sharing with me. And I write a lot of those down. And then I really encourage my client to be tested with frequency. So I have them take this test that tests the tones that come off of their voice, also the frequency that's going on in their brain and their body. And it's a simple test. And then I get the results of that and we discuss that. And then I talk to them about their spirituality. What is their connection to their spiritual side? What is their belief system in divine, in God? And how, how do they move with that? And then we definitely talk about the impact that that has because that to me is a component that gets left out. And it is so important to our health. So that's how I work with them. And then I'll introduce a pure eating program and an exercise program. And that will be a divine design is what I call it because mm -hmm. we're including the whole person. And then I come up with a program and then I meet with them regularly depending on their needs. Most every client that I have has great success depending mm -hmm. on if they stick with the program. That sounds fantastic. And I love the fact that you are including the spiritual component, which is so important. We just got through doing together the Hope Summit. And mm -hmm. there was a collection of women, maybe 13 women that spoke about hope and wellness and the importance of it and what people can do to stay in hope and to stay encouraged as we move through the COVID piece. Now, when it comes to the wellness piece, since you are a holistic coach and nutrition and all of that, what can people do during this crisis to stay fortified in terms of their immune system? Okay, so um, we everybody loves music, right? I mean, we just love music and it gets us moving and going, but there are particular tones that can encourage our cells to fall into a, an alignment. You have two little electrons firing off inside of a cell and they really need to work simultaneously. They need to work in harmony and certain tones will actually encourage that and sometimes ill health maybe we're not eating pure or maybe we've gone through trauma or maybe we've had a horrible incident in our life or the covid you know just walking out covid and the fear in our entire world that can actually throw us off so if you can just get quiet and you can listen to these tones and when i put people on a program they actually will be given the tones that will help their body get back into an alignment i do encourage people to strengthen their immune system and I would say the number one thing is understanding how they're made on a cellular level. I want them to understand how their cells operate, how they work, and actually how they move when you are singing or when you're, let's say, in worship, if you're mm -hmm. worshiping, if you are uh, reading things that are uplifting. Um, so all of those things have a huge impact on our health. And then we can get real practical with um, how much vitamin D are you taking? I will encourage a person to get a spectra cell test. If I start to hear things in, as we're talking about their, their health, if I'm hearing patterns of ill health, then I will encourage them to have a test. It's called spectra cell. And that gives me an a complete profile of what's going on in their blood. So are they deficient in vitamin B? Are they deficient in vitamin D? How about their zinc levels? Mm -hmm. um, and, and what's going on with their uh, hormones? You know, is there a balance hormonally? Maybe they need to cut sugar out of their diet. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they're not exercising and they need that component to um, help raise their frequency and help with their cardiovascular health. Every person is different. And I do believe that while there are all kinds of things that individuals can do, there are some mainstays that can almost always help 
when a person is trying to fortify their immune system or raise their vibration from a health perspective. And one of the things you mentioned was vitamin D, which is quite common that as we get older, we're deficient in vitamin D. Yeah. And a lot of people don't even realize how important vitamin D is to their overall health and specifically to having a, a good immune system. My husband, who is a, um, a, was a heart patient, when he went to go get checked, the first thing the doctor told him was that you're really deficient in vitamin D. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and of course he was, he, you know, had had a cardiac event twice and then they put him on all these different medication. And, and I wanted to talk about that for a minute because many of us uh, are on different kinds of medication because of whatever might be going on with our health. And since I'm a holistic person, I wouldn't say that I'm anti-medication, but I, I know that there are other ways. But if you happen to be on, let's say, blood pressure medication is pretty common for my listenership and also um, medication for cholesterol. What mm -hmm. kinds of things can we eat to try to minimize the offset or some of the side effects of uh, those kinds of medications? And also, what kind of lifestyle can we adapt over time where we can begin to get off of those medications? I cannot express enough how our emotional health and our mindset are powerful tools. Just our mindset and our emotional health can actually pull the blood pressure down. Mm -hmm. And another thing is um, hydration. Mm -hmm. A lot of people walk around, and you know this, Lennis, they're dehydrated. People who are dehydrated, all kinds of health issues happen, especially high blood pressure. And then that becomes a thickness to the blood. And then I get into how are their adrenals? What's going on mm. with their adrenal health? And um, simple things can be done with adrenals, such as um, you can take a, a quarter teaspoon of Celtic or Himalayan salt, mm. and you can put that in 32 ounces of water each day. And along with that, you can take a, a quarter teaspoon of powdered vitamin C. You can drink that each day and that will help level out your adrenals. There are some people who will have to go with ashwagandha, they'll have to do a black licorice treatment or a vitamin C cleansing, um, or maybe their liver needs to be cleansed. Mm -hmm. And what does that look like? Because you have to be careful if a person is toxic, you know, we don't want that stuff all of a sudden flushed out mm -hmm. and then the body's not able to get rid of it. High blood pressure and high cholesterol um, with the uh, high density lipids maybe are really low. That HDL can actually be elevated through impact exercise. So um, uh, an impact could be um, just your foot hitting the ground, you know, walking. Maybe it's um, lift, going upstairs, up and down stairs. It's mm -hmm. not, it doesn't have to be crazy. Um, maybe, I don't know what your audience thinks about this, but crazy Jane Fonda, Richard Simmons, jumping up and down. That mm -hmm. was my era, you know. Right, it right. doesn't have to be like that. Just going out for a walk, a 30 minute uh, pace where they, maybe they pick up their pace a little bit and get their heart moving. That in and of itself can help with high blood pressure, um, and high cholesterol. And then any resistance training can help just bring their blood to a more pure level. Okay. Mm -hmm. So their sugars are not going crazy in their blood. Um, and that could be just simple Pilates on the reformer, which is what I teach, mm -hmm. or it could be the weight room. Um, or you could have a little gym at your house. So I help people set those things up. Maybe, um, and I, and, and a program I do, I, I actually have a, I call it the kingdom kitchen <laughs> where I bring in this chef and she comes on zoom and we do this cooking class and she talks about all the different foods that you can eat. Just simply switching from sugar to a um, monk fruit instead as a sweetener, for instance. Mm -hmm. And then I bring on a master gardener and I teach that she's teaching people how to have a, maybe maybe just a container garden where they have herbs. And so it's just encouraging people to be a little more holistic. Yes. Yeah. And there's so many things that you can eat that can help you in terms of your overall health. The way we use food traditionally in this country has always been in 
concert with, you know, celebrations and parties. And I mean, we have food for every occasion. Right. And what's kind of slipped into our regular three meals a day or six meals a day or whatever you are doing is some of that food as well. That's not really good for you. There's no nourishment value. It might be calories, but no nourishment value. Right. But striving to have a diet where food is your medicine as well can go a long way towards helping you optimize uh, your wellness. And I love the idea that you've mentioned about exercise and um, impact or, or, and resistance training. Uh, you know, that's right, we both came from the John, uh, Jane Fonda days. In fact, during that, those days, I was a dancer and um, so many of my friends who were dancing back then or doing the aerobics and everything have had hip replacements and all kinds. Of, <laughs> so you don't have to do it and or have knee issues and you know why that and you know why that is, right? But the idea of um, getting one of those uh, rebounders, I love those things. It's yes. great. Yeah, that's a great exercise. The little tiny trampolines. If you've seen them before at garage sales and you're wondering what they're for, you should get one because, boy, talk about vibing. You get on one of those things, and it is so good for your lymphatic system to be rebounding up and down. And the resistance training, those bands, and a gym in the home, what a great idea. Now, I have to ask you this because I ask all of my guests this. How do you vibe? What is it that you do to stay vibrant, intuitive, beautiful, and emerged? I have a hunger for life. I, I think that it is God-given. My day in and day out is to um, start off with a, a grateful attitude. And so I wake up, I'm excited. My husband thinks I'm a little too excited when I get up, but he's wanting to know how much coffee I've had. But I get up, I read, I I love quiet time and meditation time. I love talking to God and reading. So that's always number one. And then um, my breakfast um, is very pure. I, I start off with water, purified water. Sometimes I go with the little concoction that I said with the vitamin C and the uh, salt. Um, but I make sure I have two full glasses of water before I do anything else. And then my breakfast is always very pure eating. It could be a great smoothie. Um, and that just gets me going, you mm -hmm. know? And um, I do spend time with a lot of family and friends and my husband definitely. So that's how I vibe. I, that's I wonderful. try not to let things get me down too much. We have so much in common because that's pretty much how I try to vibe as well. And thank you, Linda, for sharing such wonderful information and your expertise with all of our listeners. For people who want to find out more about uh, you and how to do business with you, how to uh, take advantage of, of your wonderful services, where do they go? Um, they would go to completelyfitforlife.com. So it's the word completely fit, the number four, life.com. Um, Everything practically is on there, or they can email me at completelyfitforlife at gmail.com um, and get a hold of me in that way. They can Google my name as well. That's right. Linda Brown, or they also Linda Moeller, M O E L L E R. So there's a lot of information. Uh, when you Google the name as well. Fantastic. Perfect. And for all of you who are actually looking at the show page, whether you are on Apple iTunes or Speaker or Anchor or whatever platform you're on, her information, Linda's information is right there and the links are right there for you to be able to click on and uh, take advantage of this wonderful opportunity to work with someone who really does not only have a passion for it, but boy, does she know her stuff in terms of what's necessary for you to be well in your mind, body, and spirit from a holistic standpoint. Well, that is it for this episode. I am so excited about getting a chance to share with you Linda's information. And we also got a chance to talk about affirmations and, you know, how to do them and why they might work and mind moves and the importance of napping when it comes to keeping an alert mind. You know, I love sharing with you my vibe world. Please take the time to comment and share the podcast. You can also click the donation button. Help me out here. And if you are on Apple Podcasts or iTunes, please subscribe. You can also find me on all the social media. Just Google my name, Linus Woods Mullins, and I'll pop up. I'd love to see you on Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest and LinkedIn and all the other ways that we communicate with each other. I love you all. And until next time, keep sharing the love and don't forget to vibe. Bye-bye.
Thank you for listening to the Vibe Living Podcast. Please feel free to download, rate, share, and like the show. To find out more about living a vibe life, go to my website at wellnesswoman40.com or email me at vibelivingpodcast at gmail.com. Have a fantastic day and don't forget to vibe.